Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Happy October 1st. It is officially spooky season, but let's be honest, spooky season started like in August. At least for me it did. Went by Duncan today and got me a, a what is this called? A lemonade refresher kiwi watermelon. Um, I always get these when I know I'm going to be writing a lot and today I start writing on my dark romance. If you're new here, my name is Jessica Whaley. I am a romance author. I do have two books out currently and one more that will be released by the end of the year. It releases no November the 19th. I'll link everything down below, my socials, all that. You can go follow me if you want to. Um, keep up with me. I do a lot of behind the scenes on my socials. So, I do have uh, my dark romance photo shoot coming up this month in October. I plan on vlogging for that. So, if you want to stick around subscribe to the channel. I hope to be doing a lot of writing behind the scene vlog. For this vlog, I thought it would be cool to show you how I'm going to outline my dark romance, um, how I'm going to prepare for it, a little bit of a writing, me writing as far as today goes. Normally I pants my novels, normally I'm a pantser, um, but for my dark romance I do plan to outline it because it is going to be a thicker more in-depth book so I want to make sure I have all my T's crossed and my I's dot, dotted or whatever whatever you want to say my T's crossed and my I's dotted. So I plan to outline my dark romance today work a little bit on it my goal is to write at least 1500 words a day for the rest of the year um because I've gave myself October through December to get this book done. I have written a little bit in it I think I have three chapters written two to three chapters written but I was focusing on other books that came out this year so I kind of like pushed it away, told myself I'd come back to work on it, but um, I have been doing Pinterest boards with it. I have been filing away up here in my noggin, up here, you know, <laughs> um, ideas for it. So I'm super excited that I can now focus on it and I can bring it to life. I do have a pen name picked out for my dark romances. Um, we'll get into that. We'll get into all the things about it, but first... I am going to fix me a little snack and char make sure all my electronics are charged and then we'll come back and I'll show you the outline process. So I finally had a chance to sit down and look over some things. So I've already got like my first two or three chapters written. I need to go back over them, double check some things because there's some things I know I want to change on how I want the story to go. I'm uploading a Instagram reel right now. That's what I'm waiting on. If you follow me on Instagram, then you, you see that. Um, my Wi-Fi is being slow, so I was just making sure it uploads. Um, I'm going to try to show you this fast because I don't want you to be able to screenshot it and zoom in and, and see. I know how y'all are. I know how y'all are because I'm the same way sometimes. I'm like nosy. Um, but I do have, how am I going to show y'all this? There's like notes. See, like all of that's notes under there. So, um, I've got like two pages full of notes for my dark romance. So, what I do is I normally just take a piece of paper and I write down everything I can think that I want in it. Take my notes and I open up a blank Word doc on my computer. So, we'll do that together real quick. I am going to try to share this screen to show y'all how I'm going to outline my dark romance. I do everything on a brand new Microsoft Word document. If you don't have that, you can literally just take a piece of paper and pen and write all this out. Um, this is how I do it. This is how I've seen other authors do it. This does not necessarily mean this is exactly how you should do it. So keep that in mind. But um, everybody has their own way of doing things. You do what works for you. This works for me. So let's share my screen where... I have already been writing. Um, so I am giving a little bit of it away. It's going to be a mafia, dark romance. Um, I always put what genre it is. I always put um, the main female character and the main male character. Um, I left those out because I want to keep those to myself, at least for right now, until I get some uh, character art made. But that's where I put their names, my word count. I'm going to minimum word count of 80K. Want more than that, but a minimum 80k, and then I put my tropes, which are mafia, enemies to lovers, BDSM. Um, there's more, but that's all I'm letting y'all know right now. And then the whole thing, the whole reason I love doing this is I'm going to insert a table chart like this. Um, I don't need these, so let's clear those out. Oh, nope. If you hear 
hear something snoring. It's Justin in the background. He is asleep <laughs> on the couch. Um, so I'm gonna make those a little bigger. This is why I love this because when you're doing a book of this magnitude, as far as how big it is, if you if the people who pants these types of books, I have respect for you because while I can pants my um, small town cowboy romances. I have lived those lives. I have true life aspects to those. So um, that's why I'm able to do that. But in a book this size and this in depth, I have to have notes. I have to have outlines. I have to have something to keep my mind on track. If not, my squirreliness will take over and I will literally despise myself during the editing and revision process if I don't have something to keep me focused and like on track. So on the left hand side, I am going to write out all the chapters. So I'm not going to do that for this video, but this is where I would write out from prologue to epilogue. Um, and then, you know, chapter one is the main, if I'm doing multiple, if I'm doing dual point of view, I'm going to say, you know, chapter one, and then I will have the main female character's um, name. And then we'll do chapter two, main male character, whoever. Um, especially if it's still a point of view, I like to know what personality, what gender, what all of that that I'm working with so I can be in that mindset. And then over here on the right side, I let's do chapter one. Um, this is not where we take up too much space or too much room. We're literally just doing a couple sentences. Something, and this is not to do with my book. I want to preference that, so don't Think I'm giving away any hints. Um, this is just for this video. As far as me outlining, I will go back and do my. I will take the notes from um, what I have written and fill out this column. But I will legit do something as simple as she lost her mother. She does not know where she is at. Um, give detail to her environment or something along those lines um and then same chapter two we'll go into the main male character and i'll say he wants revenge on his enemy or killing his father or something along those lines um give suspense short sweet to the point keeps me on track, um, but it still allows my mind to wonder and build an imagination. And I will do that for the entire page. I will go down to all the way down to where if I'm going to do an epilogue or two epilogue or my last chapter, whatever I'm doing, I will write all of the chapters out for the book on the left side. And then I will detail it as far as notes on what each chapter is going to be about on the right side. And then once I'm writing, and if I um, end up changing things, I will go back to these notes and change them so my mind stays on track. So I'm going to go do that for my outline that I have on my notes, and I will be back when I start writing. So I took a little bit of a break. Um, we went and saw Justin's grandmother. We hadn't seen her in a minute. and. Um, Stopped and got a IC from Burger King. Now I'm going to finish up writing my outline. I got to like chapter 15 on the outline. Um, had to change a few things on my notes. I really, really think this is going to be a big book. <laughs> There's so much going on. Um, but I really think the way I want to end it, the way I want to end uh, the story, the twist that I want to that I want to happen, I really, really, really think. I can get this done in two to three months. I will say, though, I do I already know what my pen name is going to be. Haven't announced it yet. I'm trying to wait until my dark romance photo shoot happens so I have content to go with it because I have a bunch planned for it. Um, I will tell you the first name is an M. Second name is a C. So, M-C. Um, that's all I'm telling you right now. I will have a dark romance, or my pen name will have its own Instagram account, so I won't be using the Instagram account that's for my small town, which is just Jessica Whaley. I'll be creating another one for my dark romance because I, I didn't want, 
and I explained this on the past videos, I didn't want the, I think I've explained it on the past videos. I know I explained it on my Instagram stories. Um, I don't want the confusion of the two and trying to keep up with two names on one profile. I just didn't want the confusion. I know some people don't like dark romance. So I also want to keep that separate from like my small town. I'm trying to check on my delivery notification for the dress that I have coming in today because I really want I really wanted it to be here for when I was vlogging this because it says it's out for delivery but I don't know if mail just hasn't ran yet. I can't really tell because we've been gone for a couple minutes. Um it says it's expected today but I really want it to fit and I don't know if it'll fit. I have not bought a formal like dress like this since my prom. That has been well over 10 years ago. Um, not well over 10, but it's been about 10 or 11 years ago. Um, and the last time I bought, like, any kind of fancy dress like that was my wedding dress. And that was coming up on nine years ago. So, I had to guess at my size because I have, I've gained weight since then. And I've, I've filled out in some places. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works. I told Justin, if anything, I hope it's big on me that way I can just take safety pins and safety pin it if I don't have time for a seamstress to look at it but if it's too small then I'm just sol like and I've spent money on something that I'm just gonna have to resell I guess to get it out of my hair I don't know so I have written a little bit I think I've written like 900 ish words um maybe a thousand I haven't looked yet but um, my plan is to write at least 1500k a day. If I can write about 1500k a day for the next month, I'll be doing really, really good as far as timeline goes. Brief pause to the writing that I was doing. Mail Lady just ran. Let's see what we got. I actually got two packages. I have a Sherry Hill one ordered, but I didn't know if it would make it to me in time. So I looked on Shein and I was like, let's try, try it. So I've heard a bunch of people say that Sheen has really good quality dresses. And it looks good. I mean, it looks like the picture. Let's open her up. Ooh. Oh. Y'all, look at her. Is this going to fit me? Oh, I may have been good on the size. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try her on. What is the... The material feels amazing. It's almost like a... Almost like a... I don't know. I went to a couple formal... I don't know if y'all can see me. Am I even... Zoomed or not? Focused? I don't know. But look at that. Like that material... I don't know if it's showing... It's not showing up good on the camera. But my, that material is like... Heavenly. Um... It's got the cups on the inside. I'm very pleased with this for the price I got it too. Okay guys, I'm tired. I'm about ready to go to bed. Um, I really need to go get ready for bed and chill out for the rest of the evening. Hope you like this little outlining day. I don't really know if I even said a whole lot. A lot of things I'm trying to keep under wraps until my dark romance photo shoot. I plan to do more vlogs like this. I plan to do um, some week in my life vlogs. Um, as far as writing goes, writing day vlogs, 10k day vlogs, I plan to document all of that because I need to keep myself accountable this month with writing because I do have a deadline to meet and if I don't write so much within a day as far as my day tracker, um, then I'm off schedule and we can't have that. So all my socials are linked down below. I post different things, different places. Um, so if you do want to follow behind the scenes, you can follow me on my socials down below. All my books are linked as well. Um, everything that I've published so far is on Kindle Unlimited. You can pre-order The Not So Best Man, which is my Christmas rom-com that's releasing on November the 19th. Um, it does have trigger warnings, so if you, you can go look on my TikTok and my Instagram for trigger warning explanations. I always like to let people know I, I'm a big fan of trigger warnings. If I think it needs to be in the book, I think it's important to put those there. So just make sure you check those out. And it is up for pre-order now. The link is down below. I do have the links for my other books down below too. The Maple series, um, the two books, the first two books is out in it so far. And then the third one releases next year. So I'm super excited about that. It will be Colin's story. I know a bunch of y'all are so excited about that. I'm going to get ready for bed. I am super tired. I'm going to take my makeup off. Brush my teeth. Wash, wash my hair. Wash my hair. I didn't wash my hair. I'm going to brush my hair. Get some PJs on. And curl up on the couch. And just 
just try to unwind for a little bit. But I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next vlog. And hopefully it's a little more exciting than this. Bye, guys.